Hello everyone. So, here are some tips on how to score high at VillainCon Minion Blast. At the training room, blast as many collectibles as possible as they give the most points. You can make the collectibles spawn by destroying boxes. Use your secondary blast on bombs and TNT boxes to create explosive chain reactions. At Stronghold's room, blast at the screens disguised as paintings and blast at the collectibles behind them as they give big amounts of points. If you ignore the paintings, find the lightning box in the main screen and use the lightning power on the arms of Stronghold's tank to make the ball head lift up, revealing a soft spot underneath that. You will then use your secondary blaster to launch at that to make Stronghold spin out of control. He'll spin like cuckoo bananas. <laughs> Bananas, because beans are bananas. A special power-up will appear above him, blast it to collect it, and use it against Stronghold as much as possible. For Nunchuck, blast at Nunchuck's organs behind her flying vehicle until you see her special power-up appear above her. Repeat the steps described for Strongholds by collecting her special power-up and using it against her. There are also collectibles in the scene. You can blast at the sun and clouds in the background until they blow up to smithereens. At Jean Claude's room, blast at Jean Claude's claws. Then once those are gone, blast at his robotic legs until he is, is defeated. His special power up will then appear above in the middle of both screens to be used against him. You can also blast the Orca ship from Jaws to open the treasure chest to find a collectible. And use your secondary blast on Lord Farquaad's castle on well, the far left of the screen to reveal a hidden collectible behind it. Farquaad's castle spires are there as a Shrek 4D Easter egg, as Shrek 4D was there before Valentine. You can also blast at the screens disguised as vents, as they also have collectibles that randomly appear throughout. If you blast at the clam next to the rocks, it will open up to reveal a mermaid minion, a mer minion, that will drop a ton of coins. This is secondary to collect all the coins at once. At Vengeance, find an ice box floating around either screen to use against Vengeance. Once you guys with enough ice, go slow down exponentially, causing him to fall off the track and be, quote unquote, defeated, revealing his power up on the middle of both screens. You can also use, oh, you can also find the collectibles randomly on the track, or blast at the fake Jumbotron above the moving walkway to find two hidden collectibles. With Bell Bottom, Blast at Belle and her bubble as much as you can with either your, with either your normal or secondary blast until a special power-up appears behind her. Use it against her as much as possible. Also blast the speakers, flying records, minions, bubbles, and flying speakers to have elemental boxes and secondary reload spawn in preparation for the final battle. You can find a few collectibles in this scene, but good luck finding them in time because it's a, it's a doozy of blast to find them. At the final battle, blast at either the Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, or Toothsome's logo to reveal hidden collectibles behind that. Once you destroy the Toothsome's logo, another collectible will appear above the smoking vent that can be blasted as well. After that, blast whatever, whatever villain you face to smithereens, Vector, El Macho, Scarlet, or Balthazar until the scene is over. That's all the tips. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a minion-rific day!